Good morning, day four. I don't even know if you guys can hear us because it's so windy. It's 6 a.m. We had a horrible night. And we're gonna tell you more about it later when it's not so windy. <laughs> So we have actually happened upon our first privy. And for those of you who don't know what that is, that's a toilet. And this one is just out in the woods. Check this out. <laughs> I'm not gonna do a close up of it because um, it might gross you out. Do you need to go, Largo? No. I think he's holding out for something a little more warmer, I guess. <laughs> So we're at the top of Blood Mountain, which is, according to another guy on the trail, I didn't fact check him, the highest point on of the mountains in Georgia. And we were told it was a straight up and it was pretty, it was intense. Um, you know, after we hiked the Inca Trail, a straight up, nothing compares to that straight up, but it was hard and it was early and we're cut, tired and whatever. So this is an interesting thing. This is called Blood Mountain. The other night we slept at Devil something. And then we walked by Slaughterhouse Trail or something like that. And I'm wondering who came up with these names? Cause walking through here, depending on the weather is a little creepy to begin with. And then you have these names that are haunting you. And I'm sure there's a whole history on it and I probably should go Google it, but I don't have service right now. So we're just gonna keep walking. Largo, I'm gonna keep talking. Will you grab my poles? and go ahead of me. So what happened last night? So yesterday was, I wouldn't say it was horrible, but there were a couple mishaps like urinating on myself and then that massive wipeout I took. But I still was pretty positive when we got to camp. We went, I think 13.6 miles. Uh, there were some really nice guys at camp that were, we had a chat with. I, di I didn't get their names, it was late and we were tired, but they were really fun to talk to. They're through hikers also. And we set up our tent, Largo made dinner for himself. Um, I just had an energy bar because I was beat. And we got in the tent and we, we snuggled into our bags, our quilts, and all was well for a good night's sleep. But the winds, as you can still hear them today, were, in, the, first of all, the view last night was amazing. So that's good. The winds were insane, you guys, like crazy insane. I thought we were gonna be Dor Dorothy Wizard of Oz tent version with the tent being tossed up in the air and thrown maybe to Katahdin, um, fast tracking the hike. Anyway, um, so it was windy and it was freezing. Someone said the night before was 20 degrees. Last night was probably 10. I couldn't reach my thermometer and I would have filmed, but we did a novice thing and we know not to do this, but we were just beat. We left the electronics outside of our quilts. So everything froze and whatnot. And so I got you that little bit of a clip this morning on my phone because nothing was defrosted. And so around three, so last night I heard things outside the tent and they sounded bigger than a squirrel and raccoon, but not quite as big as a bear, uh, which discouraged me from going to the bathroom last night. So finally at 3.30, I couldn't take it anymore. I stumbled over Largo. I, rang, I had a bit of a wrangle with the tent zipper and then I went to the bathroom and came back in and I was like, this really sucks. Well, I am freezing. Oh, wow, look at this view though. Look at this guys, you ready? Look at that. Now, the blaze is over here. Do you see a blaze over there? Nope. Okay. But this view, good morning, Largo. Good morning. Largo's not a morning person and he's pissed he was cold last night. So we've got some things to figure out in our sleep system. I think we're not operating things correctly, but um, we'll talk about that a bit later. Look at this. <gasps> wow. Beautiful. All right, next stop, Neil's Gap. For French class, Largo. Yippee. Yippee. <laughs> Largo's checking how far we have to go. <laughs> I think it's just probably a couple more miles, but. Yeah. Two point two miles. Two point two miles. All right, let's do this. Just came down the 
it's kind of like going down sideways it doesn't it looks flat but it, I should probably go like that with the camera but it's not at all it's really really hard right here oh, we took a wrong turn it went down that oh, we were supposed to oh my god day four this is where we're supposed to go so we just had something really interesting happen. These two ladies walked by us and they had a shell on their pack. And that is very symbolic of the Camino Frances to Santiago across Northern Spain. And I talked about it already a little bit, but so we hiked this, I can't remember what year, I think it was 2017. If I'm wrong, we'll put it on the screen. And we vlogged it every single day, 44 days. And so these ladies walked by and I saw their shell and I was like, did you hike Camino Frances? And she said, yes. And then I saw her patch and only four days into this hike. And we saw someone who did that hike, which is actually surprising to me because I didn't think we'd see anyone. So for, there's a lot of people that follow our channel that found us through the Camino vlogs. So I said to them when they left, you guys, you'll appreciate this. I said, buen Camino, um, which means good walk. Good walk, right, Largo? good walk um, and it was really fun to say that because we that experience was just magical we did it with the kids and it, it you, sh you know if you're ever into a hike that's not quite as intense as an AT with a rich rich cultural experience with the language the people um, in the communities you pass through but also it's a very international um, community that hikes it uh, do it. Camino Frances. Some people call it Camino Santiago because they're hiking into Santiago. There's a whole history behind it. Anyway, and then right after them, uh, there were these two ladies that came through in like pinky purple jackets. And I said to them, oh my gosh, you're twinning because Largo and I have both the black jackets and we're twinning. Not by his choice, of course. I didn't make him wear the coat. He just happened to pick it and I happened to pick black because I always pick black. Um, and they said, oh, we're a mother daughter. And I said, oh, we're a mom and son. So it's been, uh, there's been some fun had. Um, we're redeeming, we're, we're recovering from our, our night last night. And we're about a mile from Neil's Gap. And we're hoping that there might be some trail magic there. Largo and I are dying for like an Egg McMuffin. I know we can't be specific on what we'd like, but that would make me so happy <laughs> right now. Cause we missed the one at Gooch that everyone talks about just because our, our hiking schedule didn't align with it. And now, and the guys last night at the shelter, were talking about the Gooch um, McMuffin as well. So I'm, now I'm all I'm thinking about is these McMuffins. So this is the famous Neil's Gap stop that everyone looks forward to because they have a massive store. This is also a final resting spot for a lot of hikers that haven't proceeded on they throw their shoes up here that is not going to be Largo and I how happy are you right now Largo this is all I needed frozen egg McMuffin and you're a happy guy happy. all right are you back with us now yep forgot about last night <laughs> <No>. <laughs> So right here, they will give you, they'll weigh your pack, and then they'll give you a shakedown to see how much weight you're carrying, and then anything you want to leave here for other hikers, you can leave in the box. So we might do this tomorrow. Only about five pounds heavier than I'd, I want to be, but this might be, this might be the deciding thing tomorrow when we get back on the trail. Oh, that's interesting. So I don't qualify for a bag shakedown because you have to be 30 base weight without your food and water. And I'm 30 or 29 base weight with food and water. Interesting. So I'm doing okay. Thanks. So this place has everything you could imagine. There's plenty of food cold drinks, and in this refrigerator, there's amazing breakfast sandwiches. Logan and I have had four total all together. And then anything you need to supply, if your sleeping bag isn't working out well, or your tent, oh my God, look at all the Hyperlight stuff. Wow, you guys know I love that. 
Oh, there's, there's something cute. We have a one person tent just in case Largo and I need a break from each other. <laughs> that could possibly work out for us. I mean, there's everything, everything in here. They've got clothing. I mean, look at all the sit pads and sleeping mats and camp chairs. Largo's mentioning he wants a camp chair. Maybe I should get him one. I think today's probably not a good day to get him one. And if you need some shoes, you can get more socks and shoes. I mean, they have, they have everything in this place that you could ever imagine. Oh, I have a pair of these waiting for me. One of my packs. So I got Largo a little surprise in there that I'm gonna give him at the end of the trip. I'm not gonna show it to you guys. It'll be a surprise for you as well. That was an adorable store. It has everything you could ever imagine. People are in there buying balls to roll out their feet, food. I saw a girl buy a new pair of shoes because her feet were hurting her. There, I mean, I, it's, just, it's not that big of a store, but it's amazing how much they can fit in there. You have to stop here when you come through. Get the frozen breakfast sandwich, microwave it for 90 seconds, then another 10 seconds, flip it over. It's delicious. C'est juste en fait que je veux déduire comment euh, mettre les phrases en ordre par euh, les premiers termes parce que ça c'est vraiment. So Largo has to do his French and Spanish and English class today, so we're getting off the trail so he can get those done. He still has a little bit of school he's doing while he's on the trail, which makes it a bit more complicated, but it's the way we get to do the trail, so we roll with it. So he's standing over here in the corner. Um, with barely any Wi-Fi, working off his cell phone, but he's making it work, so. So I'm killing time while I'm waiting for Largo to finish his French class. And then we have a surprise. Largo and I are going to a cottage tonight to spend the night to get a shower, to wash my pee pee clothes. <laughs> he has Spanish and English as well this afternoon. We were just gonna do it here at Neil's Gap, but it's not really a convenient place for him to take a class. It's freezing and he has to sit outside and he can't do um, Zoom and they share a lot on Zoom because the Wi-Fi isn't strong enough. So he said, what the heck, let's go. Because when it gets warm, we're not gonna wanna be in hotels or hostels. But now that it's freezing, it sounds awesome. Um, and you know, we're only on day four, so, you know, I guess, are we being soft? Maybe, I don't know. I'm not in any race or rush or to prove anything. I just want this to be a good, excuse me, a good experience for us. And last night <laughs> was not such a good experience. So today I think we've only gone four, four trail miles and then a half a mile off trail, I think. All right, we're in our cabin for the night and I'm sitting right in front of the heater. Largo and I are both crowded beside the heater so who can get more. I'll give you guys a little tour in a bit, um, but first I gotta go shower and get the laundry in. So we are staying at the cutest place and I don't know what the name of it is. I'll put it in the description because Will booked it. Um, I'm heading out to do laundry and yeah, neither one of us brought a comb. <laughs> because it's not something people usually carry with them to um, hike. And so I just had an awesome shower, a shower that I was just like, I'm always, always appreciative of showers after living um, a travel lifestyle for 10 years now. We don't always get showers, they're not always hot, the pressure is always great, and then living on a boat as well. And I got in the shower and it was like, it's only been a couple days, guys. But I was stinky and I was just like, oh my God, it's the best shower ever. <laughs> so I think what we're gonna do is he's gonna finish his classes. He's in Spanish right now and he's got English class. And then we're gonna order pizza and review some of our gear, things that need changes, do laundry and get to bed early. Tomorrow it's likely we're gonna be hiking in the rain. So I'm glad we're probably better to take tomorrow off, but this is the way school goes. So this is where we landed. So I have my soiled, so my day clothes that I walk in are in the wash and my sleep clothing. And then what I have on now is my puffy jacket. And then I have my shorts and I have my sleep socks on. I can't figure out how to angle this shirt, this camera. But 
it's kind of cold. Um, I'm out wandering around in this, but I need to wash all my clothing um, because I don't know when the next time is it's gonna be washed. So this place we're staying at is so adorable. I wish I could see the sign from here, but okay. So here it is. They have a bed and breakfast over in front of me. And then they have all these cabins up here. I think they said they have six cabins. There's chickens running around. It's really, really cute. Um, we opted out of a hostel because we both just felt like, we like hostels, but we both felt like we needed just some space and just non-talking time and just time to process and think about everything that we're, we're going through and have gone through. Um, so there's a sign over there that says, ah, this is so cute, guys. I'll bring you over here. And the chickens are really friendly. I think they're coming over to say hi right now. Slow guinea crossing. And then look at... Hi, ladies. Hi. These are the friendliest chickens. When he dropped me off, they left the door open in the car and they jumped in the car. Hi. Hello. Well, hello. Someone wants to be on YouTube. So... This is our little cabin in the woods up here. And it's adorable. And pizza will deliver or other food will deliver, which I think is what we're gonna do tonight. The guy, husband and wife that owned it, he's a retired military guy and he's doing this as kind of like a fun second career. His Largo doing his Spanish on his phone. Assessing the food situation. And she's really cute. Tell me, Largo, are you the happiest 16 year old boy right now? I am very happy right now. We're <laughs> sitting in a log cabin in the middle of the woods eating Domino's pizza. And to think we could have been in a jacuzzi right now <laughs> on the other side of the US. Just enjoying the heat. One week ago, we were in Palm Springs visiting a friend with a big screen TV and a jacuzzi and Uber Eats. Now we're this. This isn't too bad. I'm not complaining. This is really good. And we're clean. We're so yeah. clean. Which reminds me, I need to go get the laundry. <laughs> how, how many miles did we go today? Do you remember? Four? Five? Four point six. Five? Five point six. six. No, was it, was it five point six? Yeah, it was five point six. So we went five. Oh, you can we went 5.6 miles and we are now ready to go to sleep. We're going to be hiking. It sounds like it's going to be day five, day, day five tomorrow. Day, day five. Six. No, day five. Day no, day fi we don't know what day, day. it is. Today was day four. <laughs> yes. Okay. Tomorrow's, day five. tomorrow's day five and it looks like we're going to be hiking in the rain. So we're going to enjoy this awesome night right now. We have two huge double beds. Logo's just over here saying goodnight to you guys. And then he's going to go to his bed. And we haven't had this much space in a long time. It's going to be it's awesome. We're going to sleep time. so yeah. well. And then we get a ride back to the trail tomorrow. So thank you guys. We just want to say a big thank you for following us for being with us however many days we're at now since we don't know we're going to get back on trail for the adventure tomorrow we're both showered we had the dominoes we've washed our clothes we yeah. feel awesome we caught up with family i feel great how do you yeah feel? i'd say we feel pretty good at this point yeah. are you excited to go back from this <laughs> remember we're gonna we're being fully honest on this so yeah i'm not yeah. crying my eyes are just watering Logan, when i put the heat up so high in here now we're all congested and dried out but we were freezing, yeah. So it's not that easy to just jump back on the trail after the hectic night we had last night and knowing that we're coming into rain. But I feel like this is part of the journey that it's yeah. not, yeah. whenever we do anything hard in life, it doesn't instantly just stick and we're like, oh, that was super easy, right? I mean, we're hiking a lot of miles. <laughs> not quite yet, but so we averaged them out and our average has been about 10 miles a day so far. I mean, that's not what we're doing every day, but that if we... You know, you guys know how to average. So I'm tired. I'm sorry. I'm blubbering. All right. Thank you so much for being here and joining our journey. If you have any questions or comments or suggestions about things, please drop them in the comments. We're here for you guys and to share you the journey um, in the raw. And hopefully we aren't cold tonight. <laughs> I don't think we're going to be cold tonight. You do have your, your um, hiking on, jammies yeah. on though, don't you? Yeah. Logo's prepared for anything. <laughs> 
Good night. And then right after them, we saw two people come through that had on these, and I didn't get their names or their trail names, but they are through hiking, so I'm sure we'll see them again there. Oh my gosh, there's Orange Kitty. There's Orange Kitty. Hi, Orange Kitty. Why are you so cute? Are you freezing to death out here? Probably not, you're tough. Oh my gosh, you're so sweet. Hi. Oh my gosh. You're famous, you know that? I'm not really sure how to work the camera very well from this angle, let's see. <laughs> um. Hi ladies, how are you?